Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Love Morning. I uh, my computer could not connect to a webcam uh, just now, so I'm booting up my phone. Figured I would move around my house a little bit, give you a little different view, different view of my plants. Oh, all these. I actually brought one of these plants indoors because the high winds was knocking all the pots down and knocked it over. I'm like, you know what? I just want to, you know, people bring their pets inside with the weather. Maybe I should bring my plants inside. So it is love morning, which means that it is time to gather, get in our attitudes acclimated to this day and to uh, connect, to connect with you and um, share some gratitude. So if you've got some gratitude in your heart, I would love to hear it in a moment. First, just if you've got any gratitude in you, type a one. Type a one, meaning, yes, I have at least something to be grateful for. A roof over my head, a pet, someone you love. And then, as always, uh, I try to start these love mornings with a song that I make up on the top of my head. Here we go. It's going to start now. We're going to join together in this day. And it's always something that I say. Cause we have a love morning. Love morning today. We share our gratitude. Yeah. Even when it's attitude's the only word that I ever rhyme with. Okay. Good morning. That one was too, it was, it was, it was taking too long. Gonna, gonna pull it to it, come to a close. Okay. Good morning. Jill is from France. And is here. And I'm so glad to be connecting with you, Jill, and being able to uh, be a part of your network as you go through the difficulties of humaning and the, the growth and the, whew, lot, that's a lot sometimes. Welcome, Nick. Good morning. And welcome, Bob. Hello to you in London. Hey, John. Happy birthday. I just had a, a little, I just commented on an old post of us that I thought was funny. Oh, John's saying that he, he brings his, uh, wait. Oh, that's a different John. Sorry. I did not post an old post of yours. My bad. Uh, John says he brings his palms indoors for the winter. I guess see, as a San Diegan, I don't think about those things. Jill is grateful for me. Oh. Nick is grateful for his mom coming home from the hospital. Yes. Hi, Kate. Good to see you. Hey, Brent. Terry! How are you feeling? I hope okay. Sending you lots of healing love. Um, hi, Natasha. Good morning. Kate is grateful that her father is getting the care he needs in the hospital. Good morning, Faith. I am grateful for a beautiful day yesterday. Had a nice, um, had a wonderful day. And then in the evening, didn't have any plans and ended up going to, uh, rode my scooter around at sunset with a this, that Mike made me who does the Zusa mutant vehicle and it has this this cool LED pole off the back so it gets a lot of excited comments from kids and stuff so I'm grateful for that bike ride and then I went and got some food at local brewery and then I after having a few beers in me I did a little Facebook live dance last night that as I saw it this morning I'm like oh that's a little too risque I'm gonna take that down and then, um, and I made it, I, I comment, or I posted the video, Ren, Hi Ren, which I, I'm grateful for the, his music, their music, his music, and the effect. I mean, it's just so powerful. I'm glad that it's blowing up. And so I made a reaction video. I've never made a reaction video before, but um, I did and I cried through it and I woke up this morning it had 1700 views and Ren made a comment on it which was really beautiful so I if you haven't seen Hi Ren yet I encourage you to, to listen to the song 
um, watch it on YouTube. It's watching him sing it back and forth to himself is really powerful. Um, hi, Mary. Esta is grateful for some time yesterday with new extended family. Beautiful. Natasha is grateful this morning for the internet and how I can find endless options for quality floggers as opposed to olden days where you just kind of had to know someone. I, I got a link to a, you know, bondage gear site and I was like, holy moly, there is a lot of options. You can spend a lot of money equipping a dungeon. Um... Brent, grateful for a wonderful wife who could not possibly love me anymore. Oh, I love Brent and Susan together. Um, Jill is grateful for knowing my late best friend for seven years. Grateful for friend support and mine. Grateful for seeing my family. Uh, yeah, I'm super grateful for my family too. And I'm grateful for my friend Darren. It, today we were celebrating his birthday. I've known Darren since I was five years old. So uh, looking forward to going to celebrate his life. Initially I was not gonna be able to make it to his party because I had a trip to Catalina planned and that got postponed. So now I get to see Darren. I don't know if I have bags under my eyes. Maybe it's because I just woke up, or maybe it's the lighting. Here, I'll, uh, there we go. Now it's better. That look good. Now you can see all the way up my nose, but no bags in my eyes. See? Problem solved. Or maybe I just don't smile. That'll make the bags go away. <laughs> Kate is grateful for quitting a job that was toxic. Yes! And grateful that I shared the rent. If I mean, I, I don't think I've ever had a song hit me so hard, ever. I've, and, and th th I mean, there's some things about the song that I know won't resonate with everyone, um, but there's, I think there's a lot that will, with, with, if, you've, if, you've, if you've struggled ever <laughs> with your mental health, then, uh, and then you'll, I think, will find something in that song that speaks to you. Um, what is? Sorry, I'm on my phone, so it's tougher to follow along. I'm, we mentioned I'm on my phone because my computer is, today it wouldn't connect to a webcam, and I guess I got to reboot. I just didn't have time. Um, Good morning, Eric and everyone. Anyone else have something that they are grateful for they would like to share? Point of the intention of the love mornings, which I just got a Facebook memory pop up, so it was like from a year ago. So at least we're doing this for, I think two years now I think about it. Wow. Oh. Daily practices, so good. So I um, the goal is to one, remind me and you and us that we have the ability to be living purposeful lives simply by being kind and connecting. I wanna keep reminding people that, you know, there, sometimes we feel like I'm looking for my purpose. You know, I wanna, I don't know, what, what is my purpose? What is, what, am, what am I, why am I here? What is my purpose? I wanna, like, as if like, you're gonna like wake up one day and go, huh? I have this, answer to depression like eh, I maybe but or I need to make enough money so that I can build a children's center for abused penguins yeah you should be open to that kind of inspiration and in the meantime ta-da um you just go day by day, being kind and connecting. And that will be enough. And if you do that, you will find your way to your penguin rescue. Because you'll see the opportunities of it as you're being kind and connecting. Ta-da! There you go. I just saved you a ton on 
high <laughs> high price um <laughs> what do you call it? uh like seminars um I think I missed Kate's message about bondage here because I'm not making sure these, these comments don't make sense but okay <laughs> uh, oh flogger recommendation all right I'll have to check it out oh Brent you're I appreciate the nostril compliment that means a lot it's I've, I've never really thought about them much although as I get older I have been trying to trim the nostril hair more frequently because the way that my nose is shaped it does tend to display my nostril hair if I don't trim it. I'm grateful for my nose and uh, and all my features, all my functioning body parts. Connecting over floggers. Speaking of, well, did, did, did I mention that part of, so in my dance last night that I did a Facebook Live on that I have since taken down, I broke out my floggers and I was dancing with floggers, and then I was, to the beat, I was whaff, flocking in the bed. <laughs> and then I, I saw it this morning, I'm like, oh, mm. I mean, that was fine if we were all watching it live, and it's Friday night, you know, and I have a shirt off, I came back from the brewery, you know, woo, yeah. Uh, you know, Saturday morning, eating your cereal, seeing me half-naked dance with floggers, ah, it's a little less appropriate, so. I took it down. I done nose wax with with once and it super scared me. And then I talked to a beautician who said, oh, don't do that. That could really damage your cartilage in there. So so we'll see. Maybe I will return to waxing my my nose again. <laughs> Ooh, that was I did it like in a back alley of a nail salon too, so maybe that was part of the problem. Uh, well, maybe I, I, I might, I mean, I saved the video, so maybe I will, I'll make it and share it if people request it. Part of the thing is like, I just, you know, I have people who follow me and who only comment when they want to like try to hurt me. And so it's sometimes, uh, so there's some things that if you're there in the moment and we're sharing it, then it, it's fine. And then sometimes after I do a live, I'm like, ah, I don't want to just leave that out there. It, it doesn't make as much sense to be dissected after the fact, if that makes sense. Because there are people that I don't trust that have access to it. Not that I don't trust you. In fact, if you send me a message, anyone here who wants to send me a message, say, I want to see the dancing video. Send me a message, I will send you a link to it. Good morning, Caitlin. Oh, I'll send you saw the, the dance. Oh, good. Well, I was, yeah, at the beginning of the dance, I had my clothes on, and I was not using the floggers, but, you know, it's... Sometimes, sometimes I, I, uh, yeah, you gotta follow the flow and sometimes the flow leads me to a little sauciness <laughs> a message here won't work you gotta send me a message so that it's in my inbox if a comment I, it won't work i won't i won't, I won't see it in, in in enough way to send a, the message but if you send me a facebook message i will respond with the link thank you for helping me clarify that cindy natasha said it's your content. Do what you want with it. Oh, wait, no, I read that as lyrics. It's your content. You do what you want with it. I'll do what I want. Thank you. I agree. I, 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 I almost have, I don't really use filters on Facebook of like friends only. Every, almost everything I do is public. So if it's not public, I don't, I usually take it down and do something else with it. Uh, good morning, Christopher. Chris won small biz of the year last night. Fuck yeah. More more success stories. Share your wins. Share your wins. Share your wins. Uh, 
Yeah, Kate sharing grateful for a new lover that is very flexible and not judgmental. Yay, share your wins. Share your wins. Sweet. Uh, oh, and Susan is sharing that Brent brings out the best in her. Christopher, I'm grateful for you. Uh, if you don't know, Christopher has a chip chat uh, series that he does where he reviews different chips, you know, snacks, and uh, just kind of does commentary and, and shares as he's eating them. And he made one this week, last week, that uh, where he, he shared really, really beautiful words about me and about putting ripples out in the world and trying to choose to be optimistic and choose to be positive. Um, it was, and it was like the same day that my dad made that comment about ripples and that joke about ripples, which I've told a bunch of times online, so I will not tell it again right now. So thank you and bravo, Christopher. Oh, flexible as in orientation. I, I thought you meant like, like, this dude can bend in ways that allow me to do things to him that are nearly impossible with a human being. But both flexibles are, if that's what you're looking for, is awesome. Crystal, good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Ellie. Um, anyone else have some gratitudes to share? I'm really enjoying this Saturday morning in my, this different location in my house. Uh, normally I record from that side of the room this way because that's where my desk is, but my computer didn't connect to my camera, so we're using the phone. Uh, well, that too, says Kate. Good. I won't, we, the group gratitude experience that I've been doing twice a day for three years now, um, not including this, this is, Wait, did I say three times? Two times. Two times a day in Zoom, and then once a day here for now, two years. Almost two years. More than two years. Math is not my strong point. Um, the, the group sharing of wins is such a thrill uh, to, to feel sympathetic joy from others. It's like, it's like gifting. You know, Gifting, you get joy from another joy. You, you do something kind for someone. They experience some elevation and you get elevated because of their elevation. And the same is, happens in a, in, a, in a group gratitude or a sharing of wins. If you're in the right mindset. I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're dealing with your demons and someone says, you know, ah, oh, they accepted my TED Talk. And you didn't get your TED Talk. You're like, fuck. You know, it can, you can be triggered by things that... But if you can switch that and go, hey, we're all connected. This is team human, right? So if you are winning, we are winning. Yay! Yay us! Yay you! Yay we! Charlie Girl loves everything going on in this view. Grateful for a cat meatball. Aw, good morning, Charlie Girl. I don't know if you can see the size of this plant. This is called the Z plant behind me. I'm just going to... You know what? I'm just gonna just show you how fucking huge it is. I've never seen a Z plant this big. I, this is the biggest. Like, this is. See how big this is? It takes up my whole room. Normally, I mean, I know what is normal and abnormal, but this plant is gigantic. Um, I'm so proud of my plants. Uh oh. Now I've made it so this will never work again. Okay, cool. Uh, Faith is grateful today for new mobility equipment. I feel like I'm riding, I, I can feel like I'm riding a bike again. Beautiful, Faith. That's wonderful to hear. I, it's a, man, feeling better physically sure affects our moods in so many profound ways. It's amazing how much uh, the shoulder thing I've been struggling with for, you know, two months now is, uh, it affects a lot, you know? I mean, I basically have, I, I, if I pound Advil every four hours, I'm okay. I don't think that's really ideal for a long-term plan. I've got physical therapy starting next week. 
But everything else I tried has not been successful yet. Kate is grateful to be splitting my living situation between two states. That's fun. Kate is grateful for compersion. Yay. People know what that word means. I had to learn it. Um, compersion is my understanding, not an expert here, but uh, in people in open relationships or polyamory or forms of non-monogamy, there's this phenomenon process of when someone you care for has feelings for another person, feelings or maybe just physical intimacy, anything, anything that, that when someone that you love, care about, have feelings for, connects to another and it causes you jealousy <gasps> and the, the constriction, ah, I don't like this feeling. And then you go through the process of like, I care about this person. They are finding joy. They are finding happiness. They are finding pleasure. I love this person. I care about this person. I want them to be joyful. Therefore, I can relax into my happiness for them. <sighs> and that is compersion. Any of you experts can correct me and uh, if you'd like. I definitely am not an expert. But I've experienced that a number of times. Trish, good morning. Hi. Oh, Trish is super grateful for her home and neighborhood. Oh, I'm grateful to get to have a moment with you today. Love you, Trish. Good morning, Michelle. Michelle, guess what? I, uh, I showed a special friend your, not your, the, 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 the picnic basket that you gifted me. So, um, thank you. I was thinking about you yesterday. Brett says that Central Florida is the compersion capital of the East. You should get bumper stickers that say that. <sighs> Michelle says, grateful for the time, energy, and funds for a rock drumming lesson today. What? That's awesome. They tell you I'm taking classes in Ableton, which was the wrong choice. I, I, I don't know enough about music, but it's fun to just like sit with a master composer and kind of him to go click this and this and this and they do it and they go okay now hit play i'm like whoa we did that okay now twink this oh my gosh look what that did yeah so that's been fun kate saying i apply compersion to all aspects of life <sighs> helen is grateful for two dates this weekend yeah 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 Awesome. Angela, good morning. Good morning. Oh. Yeah, finding joy in their joy, even when it doesn't involve me. And isn't that, I mean, when you, with that description of joy that you said, Kate, that kind of describes a gratitude circle. And as people share the joy in their lives, you feel joy from it. You're like, yeah, I think the compersion for me is involves, the, my understanding it involves the, the, the process of overcoming the initial difficulty. If it, if, whereas I don't find that in a graduate circle. Someone says, I'm so grateful that I got a new puzzle. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't go, huh, I don't have a new puzzle. Well, well, they got a new puzzle. So that makes me happy. Therefore, they're happy. That makes me happy. I'm, ha I'm glad they got a new puzzle. But I guess in, if that is what happened, that would be a compersion process. Oh, how wonderful to be starting this day with so many beautiful people. And to remind each other that this process of sharing gratitude, sharing our wins, looking for opportunities to connect with fellow human beings and just being kind and open to that connection is, uh, that's enough. That's enough. And then what else you stumble upon as you do that? Yeah, do that too. 
Ah, so thank you for everyone who shared a little gratitude. I, I will, um, we'll close with a little hug and then go off into our days and recognize we've all, each one of our sharing has added a unique flower to this bouquet, each with our own specific unique colors and fragrances. And so as we collect it, it's something magical and we get to distribute it as we say hello and go off into our days. Interesting, Wendy, saying that conversion does not have to be about partner relationships. I, I'll have to research that more. I, that's, I don't, I'm, I mean, I, I don't, but maybe, is it, you maybe mean in the context of like, I am frustrated that you got a new car and, and then I, then I go through the process of being happy for you. Is that, the, is that how it would be conversion without a partner? Okie doke. I'm learning. I'm growing. Grateful for having met. Yay. Hi, Erica. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, the puzzles example. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's do this. Let's have a hug and then go off into our days bringing this good vibe. So wherever you are, give yourself a big squeeze. And as you feel yourself being held, know that we're holding one another. Just symbolically, this body you're holding is the symbol of all of us. And the arms squeezing you, it's all of our arms. And we sink into this place of connection, feeling the physical form of one another, even though we are in unique individual spaces. It doesn't matter where your feet are. It matters where your heart is. And in this moment, we are connected. So let's celebrate all the wins, amplify all the gratitude, feel ourselves feeling compersion and joy from one another as we take a deep breath in and hold it at the top. And squeeze. And then release it all. <sighs> On behalf of Grandpa Caleb and all of you, thanks for being here for our love morning, being a part of Hug Nation. I love you. Now, if you haven't, put your phone on Do Not Disturb and go listen to the High Ren song. Or you can watch my reaction video and listen to the song while watching me cry. I love you. Have a beautiful day.